Choosing colors with hex code often feels like guesswork. You pick a color that looks good, then struggle to create lighter background, darker button, or accessible text variations without breaking your design. When a client asks for something slightly softer or darker, you end up nudging slider and hoping for the best. HSL changes this workflow entirely. Instead of guessing, you work with hue, saturation and lightness as separate values. The hue defines the color itself, saturation controls how vivid it feels and lightness controls how bright or dark it appears. This separation lets you create consistent color families from single base color. Modern design systems rely on variables and relationships and HSL makes those relationships easy to manage and scale. Now, if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. Now, how DB5 uses HSL? Now, DB5 brings HSL directly into its color system through the redesigned color picker and variable manager. You design a primary brand color once, then use HSL slider to create lighter, darker, muted or accent variations from that same base. Each variation can be saved as global color variable, but it stays mathematically linked to origin color. And that connection is what makes it powerful. DB5 also integrates this system with tools like inspector and find and replace. Once the variable are in place, you can swap old hex codes for variable across entire pages or layouts in just a few seconds. Because everything is global, a single update in Variable Manager can refresh your entire site instantly. Now, how do you build color palette in DB5? Now, every color palette begins with a single primary color. This color anchors your brand and is typically used for buttons, links and primary call to action. In DB5, this color is stored as a design variable inside Variable Manager. Now, once the primary one is set, you add secondary color. This color supports the primary by adding depth and contrast often used for badges, highlights or secondary UI elements that need personality without overpowering the design. Now, Essent colors bring flexibility to your palette. In DB5, Essents are often derived from primary color using HSL adjustment. By reducing saturation or adjusting lightness, you create the softer or more playful variations that stay visually connected to your brand. Now, because these Essents are relative to the primary one, changing the primary automatically updates the Essents as well. This keeps your color system unified even as the brand evolves. Now, backgrounds and neutrals are what makes palette usable at scale. These colors are usually low saturation, light or dark variation derived from your primary or secondary color. In DB5, you create these by adjusting lightness and saturation using HSL. Because they remain connected to the base color, contrast stays predictable and accessibility fixes are easy to apply without rebuilding the palette. Now, here are a few examples of modern color palette for 2026. Number 1. Sunset Orange now, Sunset Orange uses a bold, warm primary that feels friendly and high energy. A darker clay tone secondary adds depth to cards and UI surfaces, while cooler complementary tone balance the warmth. This palette works well for brands that want attention without feeling aggressive. Number 2. Midnight Blue Now, this one is designed for dark interfaces. A bright blue primary keeps the design energetic, while deep navy background creates contrast and focus. A warm gold accent adds clarity to icons, pricing and notifications without overwhelming the design. Number 3. Emerald and Gold Now they deliver a premium modern feel. The emerald primarily anchors the brand, darker forest tones add structure and gold accent elevate class to action and highlights. This palette works well for SaaS, dashboards and finance and luxury brands. Then we have Rusty Gold. Now this one blends muted rose tones with deep wine shades and soft accent. It creates an emotional calm aesthetic that feels modern. This palette is ideal for storytelling, lifestyle brands and content heavy layouts. Now here is how you can apply color palettes to your site. Now applying a palette in DB5 starts by adding each color as a global variable in your DB variable manager. Store your primary, secondary, accent, complementary and background colors 
using HSL values. Once saved, these colors become part of your site-wide design system rather than isolated hex code. Apply variable using inspector. Go ahead and open any section, row or module and use inspector to apply your saved color variables. Instead of copying and pasting values, you select a variable and DV handles the rest. This makes styling faster, more consistent and far easier to manage. Change one color, update entire site. Now if you want to adjust your design, go ahead and return to your variable manager and change a single color. Every element linked to that variable updates instantly across your entire site. Now because everything is connected through HSL relationships, the design stays balanced without recalculating shades or fixing broken contrasts. So the color palette works best when they are built as system, not collection of guesses. DB5 lets you define relationships once and store them as variables and scale your design without friction. Go ahead and pick one of the color palette, paste the HSL values into DB5 and start building websites that stays consistent, accessible and easy to update. For more in-depth information, make sure you check out the blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.